The most powerful production pickup truck just got more exciting because Hennessy has made the Mammoth 900. And today, Chris and Georgie from Berman Ram in Wesley Chapel has given us the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX Hennessy Mammoth 900 in your bright white. The most exciting truck just got better. Hennessy, it's based out of Texas. They're known for hypercar, high performance vehicles, and they're blending it with the already most powerful truck ever built. So you can just imagine what they're doing or what they've done to this Hellcat to make it even more powerful and more than it is to make it the fastest, the most performing pickup truck ever. I guess the big question is, why would you do this? You know, why not? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and we're gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. TRX Hennessy Mammoth 900 has a ton of modifications, including a ported supercharged snout, supercharged drive pulley, and drive hub assembly upgraded with the overdrive crank dampers, HPE TCM collaboration upgrade, upgraded crank damper pin assembly with that thermostat, upgraded spark plugs, obviously, high flow injectors, high flow filtration system, crank case ventilation system, stage one is what we have. So that's gonna have the custom bumpers in the front, the LED light bar that's inside, which are LED fog lamps, already set with your LED for your low and high projected headlamp assembly, and that crazy ram grill with the honeycomb and the board out ram so that way you can feed in more air to the already crazy hellcat engine that's with this 6.2 liter the hood is performance at the amber lights because the width of this vehicle is at 82.1 inches so you have to have them because it's so wide a height of 77.6 inches and you could still forward through 35 inches of water an exciting vehicle I think it's a little bit above that. Flared fenders, but they're flared for a reason. Seven strategic placed airflow features to provide optimal cooling and aerodynamics. And they're encasing these off-roading 35 by 12 and a half, 20 inch Hennessy 10 spoke alloy wheels. The front and rear axle ratio at 3.55, the front disc reading at 14.9 inches, the rear at 14.8 inches. Off-roading adaptive performance suspension with Bilston shock absorbers that are only made for the TRX. The front is gonna have your short and long arm independent suspension. The rear is gonna be a multi-link suspension. The setup is insane. The length, 232.9 inches, a wheelbase at 145.1 inches. Hennessy and Mammoth 900 badging comes into the side profile. You're gonna get the gloss black on the lower skirt here and between the windows. And against this bright white, it just looks more aggressive, especially when you get that nameplate of that Hennessy badging on the rear. To dress the performance, LED tail lamps, the towing does go down to 7,700 pounds. Payload is the same. Amber lights, they're gonna still be on the fenders. Stage one performance is going to be on the rear, so you'll get the rear bumper. That's a custom bumper through Hennessy as well. You will receive those massive performance five inch black tip dual exhaust outlets. And the sound that you're about to hear from it is insane. The tow hook's blacked out. Spare tire tucked underneath here, which you would want that, especially when you're taking this vehicle off-road. When you look at the statistics, this thing is already an animal, but now add the Hennessy performance for hypercar drive, just insane. Opening up the bed to 67.4 inches of length, 66.4 inches of width between the wheel well housing at 51 inches, a height at 21.4 inches, giving us 53.9 cubic feet, but you know, we have a Hellcat Hennessy Mammoth here. So we have to hear that exhaust note before we get to these engine specs. Let's go start it up.
there's no more teasing. You heard that exhaust note. Ram and Hennessy has paired up to make a hyper performance super truck and they've made a crazy numbers. Starting underneath the hood with that massive air box that consumes up to 32.9 liters of air per minute. High performance air induction system filtrates four times more dirt and debris than the Raptor. And what has Hennessy and Ram decided to do with that 6.2 liter Hellcat? Well, they put the performance on that supercharged V8, producing 912 horsepower and 873 pound-feet of torque that's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission, achieving 10 and 14 MPGs. Now, these numbers obviously are going to change. The zero to 60 is where it's at. It used to be in the high three seconds. Now, 3.5 to 3.2 seconds shedding half a second or more. When you compare that to numbers, the LaFerrari, which is a multi-million dollar car, zero to 60 is at 2.4 seconds. This is less than a second as fast. That is crazy. Quarter mile at 11.4 seconds at over 120 miles per hour. What does that compute to? Well, that's over a second quicker and almost 20 miles more than the standard Ram. The high performance truck is just burning up the road and you can still conquer off-roading capabilities with the spec we have. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX Hennessy Mammoth 900. As we go into the interior, go over the tech, and take this for our test run. Entering inside the Ram TRX Hennessy Mammoth 900 with the headroom going to be the same as your regular TRX. 40.9 inches of headroom, 40.9 inches of legroom, black leather bucket front seats with the Hennessy and TRX badging stitched in with contrast stitching, 12-way power adjustment for both the driver and the passenger, heated and ventilated. The only thing we're missing is massage because they don't offer it, which maybe later on down the road they'll offer because I think it would be nice. A large panoramic moonroof, so you get a lot of that Florida sun inside. A flat dash with soft leather and Alcantara with that upgraded 19-speaker Harman Kardon stereo system. The carbon fiber comes even in the center as well next to this 12-inch vertical touchscreen with navigation. We have the pinch, we have the swipe, click it to your media so you can see we have AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivities, click to your controls, I'll turn on the heated steering wheel or your heated ventilated seats. You can also see your surround view camera. A lot of different views you could do here as well and you can click them on the fly so you can do the forward camera, you can do the backwards camera, you can do the backup camera and whatnot. You have full trajectory, click into your climate, now you have dual climate control and you could just do it on the fly or you could just push the buttons that's next to the infotainment screen. Click into your apps. We're going to scroll over and just show you everything we have. But the first thing, that performance page we have to go to. In the performance page, go into your dashboard. You can see everything on the fly. Click into your timers. You're going to want to use this when you go on the, to the track. You can also download this, put it on an SD card, and that way you can see how good you're going. Click and you can see your gauges, your G-force, and all of this is live. So when you click onto the dyno or the engine, rev it up, you can see that it moves the vehicle dynamics, whatnot. Go into your driver modes. Now the driver modes, you can also click on the fly through the TRX mode button by the driver, or you can do it through here. So when you click into sport, you'll change everything to sport, tow, and so forth and so on, as you can see. In the gauge cluster, you'll also see that it'll do like a image of what the vehicle is doing, which is pretty nice. Click into your race options, and this is your active launch control that you could set at 35 or all the way down to 1000 RPMs. You can also change the shift patterns for the TRX. You got your race cool down as well. Click back into the home and then back to your navigation. The setup is gonna be very sporty. TRX badging right here to tell you the serial number and Hennessy does a nice little touch on the passenger side. You get the Hennessy badging, the Mammoth 900, 44 out of 200 built in the US from Texas next to your TRX. Open that up, you have a dual glove box for the passenger. The stitch work is also on the dashboard. In the center here, it's a two stage, so open up for the first, you got a USB and some storage. Open up for the second, you're gonna see the T-Rex eating the Raptor and some equations for work. You can put your change with the home plug as well. Cup holders, easily fit a 32 ounce, I'd say 
not a problem. 16.9 ounce, doesn't have an issue. Wireless charging pad, two areas for your cell phones and another storage cubby with four USB ports as well. Your launch control is right there, easy, especially when you rest your arm on the gear lever, just push it and enjoy the drive. Steering wheel, leather wrap, flat bottom, Alcantara inserts, multi-function paddle shifters made from aluminum. It's a large, strong, beefy steering wheel. The gauge cluster, seven inch digital readout, and it does go through an array of information for your vehicle settings. You can go into your off-roading page. You can go into that performance page. You can also check that fuel economy, which I wouldn't recommend. You can check the trailer tow, which is cool for your service records and whatnot of that, and checking your braking, because it, well, you're going to be doing some towing in this vehicle. Heads up display, elbows, nice and soft, digital rear view mirror, which also makes it easier. The only disadvantage is where it's positioned, because it's positioned right behind the back seats. So it's going to be closer than the bed in the ending of the vehicle. Door panel, soft materials with Alcantara and carbon fiber. You got memory for the driver, one touch up and down for the front windows, they're dual pane. Harman Kardon in the top and on the bottom with two storage tiers. You can fit larger cell phones or even maybe in a smaller iPad. On the lower tier, I would say eight or nine 16.9 ounce water bottles fit without any issues. Performance vehicle, see if we can fit in the back. Let's check it out. For the back seats, I'm at 39.8 inches of headroom, 45.2 inches of leg room. You got your central air vents, heated, ventilated rear seats, four USB and a home plug, a flat floor. The seats fold up to a 60-40, so it makes it even easier. And there's a storage bin right underneath here as well, so you don't have to have anything in your lap when you're going on a long journey or just enjoying this thing on the track. Open up in here and you got your own little area. You could put an iPad, cup holders here in the center. You could put a 20 ounce, a 16.9 ounce water bottle. You can also put one right here as well and you can lift this up so someone can sit in the center. So I do like that, that you got the whole functionality and it makes it super nice and soft because you got the Alcantara in the inserts here. Door panel, very soft as well. Upgraded Harman Kardon's right up here as well with that panoramic moonroof, which comes all the way back pretty good. Door panel is going to be soft materials throughout with the Alcantara. You got the carbon fiber, one touch up and down for the rear windows. Harman Kardon, two storage tiers. The first one, you can put a larger cell phone or maybe an iPad. In the larger one, you can fit maybe six or eight 16.9 ounce water bottles with that Harman Kardon stereo system in the door panel as well. I do like how large the windows are. I can see everything and I sit up a little bit higher than you do in the front. But that's all right because the seat actually has a good bolster to it. You are kind of flat, but against your back, the lumbar support is pretty good. Let's see how I look in the center. In the center, headroom is going to be a little bit tight if I move back and forth because of the way the headliner is. Leg room, absolutely no problem. The two occupants next to me, I'm not really sharing any space at all with them. I have my own real estate and the lumbar support, even in the center, feels good against my back. Air, you can feel it circulating all around me and I can see that Mammoth 900 badging even in the rear. Where I'm getting at is there's no right or wrong way to sit anyone in this vehicle and having that horsepower underneath it, I mean, we're gonna check that test drive right now. TRX. Hennessy Mammoth 900 out on our test run and it's just an amazing vehicle from the exterior styling to the performance hypercar performance inside this truck is going to be crazy zero to 60 barely in the three seconds which like I was saying on the exterior if you compare this to million dollar Ferraris you're almost right with them. You can actually stay with them and you're not going to be passed so much because when it's like 0.8 seconds to even one second difference in a zero to 60, that means you're pretty much neck and neck. Obviously it's going to be a little bit of a distance, but it's not like they're blowing you away. And that's the crazy thing because how big this truck is, it's massive. I mean, anything this enormous to get those numbers, Hennessy has done something crazy. I'm going to just try to drive it a little bit normal right now and it's already crazy. I mean, you sit up super high, the suspension, the engine, road noise is pretty minimal. You do hear some through the wheel wells and because we have the stage one of the front and rear bumper, so there's gonna be some air going through it. But overall, it's pretty quiet. The dual pane windows really do block out a lot. It's over 230 inches. So we're gonna check the turn radius. Anything in that length should take about three lanes. 
brakes, not bad at all. Turn radius and more or less a stop point is gonna get pretty good. It's about two and a half lanes, here we go. Whoa, if I told you it wasn't powerful, I would be lying. If I told you I'm not having fun, I would be lying. It's insane, a street legal performance animal. I mean, this is a beast, literally. Even at 60 miles per hour, that exhaust is so loud at just a regular one and a half RPM, it's crazy. When you kick it up, it's a symphony. Oh man, that Hellcat is crazy. 702 horsepower is the base. This thing is almost 1,000. Zero to 60 numbers insane. As for dynamics, I don't know if I would recommend doing it too much. It still feels a little bit heavy, but I can tell you one thing because obviously these are off-roading tires. It's not performance tires, so you're not gonna be able to get as much traction on the track, but you can still do some decent maneuvers with this vehicle because they have specced it out in normal spec for it to go on the track, for it to go off-roading, for it to do everything. Does, does it feel long? Yes, it feels very long. It does feel wide. The hood just makes you feel even more beefy on the road because it protrudes up, but it's a great thing because when it goes down, you know exactly the width of the vehicle. So I do like that they give you this personality so you can tell the dimensions of the vehicle when you're sitting in it. Front windscreen, you can see out of it good. All the windows are very large. If I put that digital rear view mirror, the disadvantage, like I was saying on the interior specs, is that it is close because it's behind the rear seats. It's not all the way in the bed. So that being said, when vehicles come closer to your bumper, it looks as if they hit you because of the way the camera's positioned. Otherwise, it's good because you can see every single thing because you're sitting up high as it is. And I mean, I would definitely say if you get this vehicle, take it off-roading, take it to the track, do every single thing. The warranty gets back by Hennessy and by Rams. Now there is three things I like and three things that I dislike is anything more than that, I'd be buying this vehicle. The three things that I like about the vehicle is the raw performance at any given gear. I mean, look at this. Crazy. Vehicles are gonna be in the dust and you get this at supercar speeds in this pickup truck. We're going to attempt to stop in the middle of the road. This is a highway, so it's hard and give it full gas. Here we go. Whoa, super quick. The second thing that I like about the vehicle is how user-friendly RAM is. Everything is in touching range. You don't have to go through the infotainment screen for your launch control, for your driving modes, anything like that. Everything's there. The last thing that I like about the vehicle, and honestly, there's like a gazillion things I like about the vehicle, but we're gonna just leave it at three, is the interior is so roomy you don't have to even use the bed if you don't need to. It's a practical car in the sense that you can fit everything. There's cubbies everywhere. It's not practical with the gas consumption. Here's just a little rear for you. Wakes up everybody. Three things that I dislike about the vehicle is the price point. When you get to the Hennessy, it's gonna be a little bit pricey, but you gotta consider there's only 200 of them worldwide and they are making it specifically hard and difficult to do it and it takes maybe a month or two to get the construction built for this engine performance, which there's so many positives, it's hard to really say negative. The second thing that I dislike is this rear view camera. And the only reason why, like I was stressing in the interior, is because of the positioning of it. It's great that it's high up. I just wish maybe you could like zoom into it or something. You can't do any of that. And it would be nice because if you could zoom it out a little bit, you can actually see everything around. The last thing that I dislike about the vehicle, and it's probably gonna be upgraded sooner than later, is they don't give you a full digital cluster for the gauge cluster. And I know that's kind of complaining about something that sounds like nonsense. It's just a lot of the new cars are doing it and it would look more futuristic. It does look good the way it's set up. Everything again is user friendly. It's really hard to nitpick things that you dislike when you get to this tier or this price point because they've really knocked out everything that would be a disadvantage. Because storage, you got it. Towing, you got it. Performance, 
I mean, I can just, the list literally keeps going on and on and on and on to the point where you would say, man, this guy is just ridiculous. But this is a super fun car, driving it every day, no problems at all. I mean, you could do so, you're gonna hear that exhaust note, anything over 1500 RPMs. And I mean, you're gonna be able to, look, maneuverability, you can get in and out. A large vehicle, but it drives like a super car. That is crazy. And you're getting this with all the capabilities that you would want. The most exciting truck just got better and this is exactly what you get with it. If you're comparing it to any other performance truck that is out there, hands down, this is going to be one of the best because of the performance and raw capabilities. When Ram introduced the TRX, they engineered it from every angle to make it be able to do every single thing that it needs to do. And I mean, Ram at the end of the day, interior is the most luxurious. Exterior, it's the most beefiness. And I mean, you got a 6.2 liter supercharged that's tweaked by Hennessy. I'd like to thank Chris and Georgie here at Furman Ram of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2021 Ram TRX Hennessy Mammoth 900 for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, check out the website, details, merchandise, everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides. You know, we'll just let it roll for a second so that way you can just see, look at this. Whoa. It's just taking us away.